how to replace a map's mp3 in osu so take a map where you want to play the map or farm it or whatever but you don't like the song go up to file and open song folder just leave this open for now and then we're gonna find a song that's the same bpm so just type bpm equals 156 or whatever it is in this case you want to find something that's a similar style this is kind of anime ubu opening so you don't want a map like this that's like in parentheses it says 156 which basically means that the most common bpm throughout the map is 156 but it's got like this whole range of bpm so we don't want that and we also want a song that's a little longer in length than the original map so that it doesn't just end abruptly so this is just over three minutes so for this tutorial i'm gonna use magic girl this song is an absolute banger so go to the editor and then again go file and open song folder now let's put these two side by side and we're going to need both of these mp3s. So if we just tried replacing that mp3 now, which I'm going to do just to show you what it would do. So take the mp3 you want and literally just copy the mp3 over here. Now you need to change the file name to whatever the original mp3 of the map was named. So most cases, actually, it's called audio.mp3. So this is the original. We can just rename it to whatever we want and then rename this over to audio. And the reason is because if you go to the .osu file of the map, the file name of the mp3 is sort of predetermined. So if you try changing it from here, then the map's not going to be ranked anymore. You won't be able to submit your score. So after doing that, technically the mp3 has been replaced. You can see it sounds exactly like Magic Girl, but the offset is completely messed up. If I go to the map in the editor and just try listening to it, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, definitely not accurate at all. So how we're going to do this is if we press Z or Z on your keyboard, it'll take you directly to the very first object. And then in the bottom corner, you can see exactly when the first object is starting in the map. Then we want to open a program named Audacity. This program is free. It's an audio editor, awesome tool. I will leave a download link in the description in case you don't have it for some reason. But we want to take both. Oh, actually, we don't need this anymore. So take both of the MP3 files and just drag them straight into Audacity. You can do the older one first and then the new one. So in this case, the original song starts really early. So I can press solo to just listen to this song. And then if I hold control and use my scroll wheel, then I can zoom in. So in the original MP3, the song kind of, oh, okay, that's loud. So in the original MP3, the song kind of just starts. And then this is where the first object starts pretty much. But in the new MP3 we're using, there's this sort of like intro thing sort of fades in for a while. And it doesn't really start until like 12 seconds in. So just to make this as practical as possible, we're just going to basically delete everything at the start of the new MP3 and delete just enough so that the first beat that we want the map to start on will be at the same timing as the first object. So essentially what we're doing here is changing the offset, which technically you could do using the in-game local offset feature as well. But it's really finicky to do it that way. And I think it's much more precise to just do it like this to get it pretty much as accurate as possible. So I deleted a fair amount. I think I actually deleted too much. So we want the first beat to be basically here. So the first beat is probably going to be after this like like 1-3 sort of drum roll thing. Okay, I actually deleted too much. Okay, so control Z to undo and then just highlight a little less. This is basically how I measure it, which is a little scuffed, but it works. You can see exactly where I'm selected. Wherever I click, you can see down here that timing changes. And this is measured the same way as this in the OS editor. So very, very helpful. So if I try clicking around 2 and then 300, it starts a little late, so I just delete a little more off the very beginning of the MP3 and check again. Okay, this is pretty much accurate, I'm pretty sure. So good enough, we can just export as MP3 and just call it audio.mp3, which is what we want the final MP3 to be called. So whenever this is done exporting, you can find it in your downloads folder or wherever it's saved. If I was trying to add time to this first MP3, like let's say I wanted the first sound to be at basically five seconds, I would just copy this intro bit, just highlight it and then press control C. And then I would just click and paste and then click and paste again, you know, just basically just copy pasting this blank audio section. And then now you can see there's a little bit left. If I hold control and scroll in, just copy a teeny tiny amount and just basically keep doing this. This is honestly how I do it, which I think is the most practical and kind of dumbed down for dummies like me so that I can actually use a program like this. But yeah, okay, so if you end up doing too much, then obviously you can just hold a little bit and press backspace or delete. I'm pretty sure it also works. Yeah, delete also works. But yeah, that's how you would do it if you were sort of trying to do the other direction and basically add offset to the start of your MP3 instead of removing some of it. Downloads and then copy. Oh, starter pack. That's mine. Let's go. Uh, just copy that and then paste, replace the file. And now, congratulations, you're now listening to Magic Girl while forming Caffeine Fighter. Let's go. So if the MP3 doesn't refresh automatically, you can just sort of leave and then come back and it should refresh. 
So we can just test with auto to listen to what it sounds like. Oh man, let's go. So if the offset's still a little off, you can use the local offset feature, which basically is right when you start the map, you press either minus or plus to adjust the offset. So if you're constantly hitting early, you would press minus a little bit until you get the desired offset. And then if you're constantly hitting late, then you would do the opposite and press plus. And if you wanna do smaller increments, you can hold alt and then do minus or plus as usual, do increments of one that way. But yeah, I think we did a pretty good job with the offset in Audacity, so pretty proud of myself. And this score will submit, by the way. Everything will work as usual. But yeah, that is about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope that was helpful.